Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 7. This time we have shared Red ROM based on Android 16. By the way, this ROM is not for anyone. Don't try this ROM. This is a better ROM and it got a lot of issues. But still, if you want to give it a try, you can try it. So as you can see here, out phone and Android version is 16, see Android version 12 and the security patch level is 1st August 2025. The UI is pretty much similar to all other Android 16 based ROM as you can see, looks good. And the notification panel as you can see here, pretty much similar. In terms of network connectivity, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, VoLTE and Bo Wi-Fi working perfectly fine. There's issue with hotspot. So if I try to turn it on, as you can see here, we are getting error. Sometime it does work, like if I try from control panel, but sometime it doesn't. So if I try now, as you can see here, we are getting error. So the hotspot is broken. And in terms of customization, we do get see Android setting with tons of customization option. As you can see here, there are tons of customization, quick settings, lock screen, and you are getting almost most of the customization options here. Notification, as you can see here, pretty much similar to all other ROM, nothing new there. Sound and vibration. Pretty much similar as you can see we do get part of volume control and few other things modes option is a bible display section so adaptive brightness is working perfectly fine but sometimes it doesn't work that well and we do get double tap to work and double tap to sleep all these things working well no issue at all so as you can see here they're working nothing much there actually and in the wallpaper and style section we don't really get any kind of AI wallpaper with see Droid ROM. The default wallpaper is here and nothing much going on. And now we can change clocks. As you can see here, we do get few clocks option. In the more lock screen setting, we do get few other options here. As you can see, privacy option and few other things. Ambient display option is a Bible, but no AOD or anything like that. App section is a Bible. And we do get clone apps, app lock, and few other things. Storage, by default, it's going to take 15 GB of internal storage, which is typical for Android 16 based ROM. Battery, so the battery backup is good, and we are not getting any kind of fast charging here, but the battery backup is quite good. Battery information you can see here, but there is no battery related feature like scheduling or limiting, all those things are not a Bible. In the system setting, we do get few options here and also Xiaomi parts option. So we can change haptic feedback. We do get ambient display option here, but it is same thing here. And also we can calibrate display, FPS overlay and clear speaker option. So these are the things we are getting. In terms of security and privacy, we do get both face and fingerprint unlock and working well actually, no issue as you can see here, pretty fast, no issue at all. So fingerprint is working well. If you want to enroll face unlock, you can do that too. More security and privacy. We do get trust, extended unlock, theft protection, SIM lock, and few other things. Location is working well. Password, safety and emergency and accessibility. So these things are we are getting here. Nothing much. This is not a GFs build and there is no GFs built of this ROM. So we are not getting any kind of GFs here. You have to install it separately. And after installing, as you can see here, we do get few applications here. We get browser, calculator, and a few other things. And the camera application we are getting here is Gcam Go, which is working well. So as you can see here, although we are getting this notification, but the camera is working. No issue at all. Other things like, in terms of calling, as I said, Bo LT, Bo Wi Fi working and also call recording working, as you can see here. But sometimes it feels buggy, like even when in, someone is calling, if you will try to switch to video mode or try to record, sometimes it does end the call. So there is issue. In terms of Google Photos, we do get unlimited storage. So as you can see here, unlimited storage is available. 
and also magic editor is working so if i try that yes As you can see here, it is working well, no issue. We can like save. In terms of safety net, we are not getting any kind of safety net with this ROM. So if I try now, setting about, as you can see here, Google Play Protect certification is not certified. So bank apps not going to work here and any kind of payment application. And in terms of chat GPT, so chat GPT doesn't work if you don't have safety net feature. So it is not going to work. As you can see here. And other features like we do get circle to search which is working well. Pretty slow. As you can see here, but working. By the way, this is one of the worst ROM I have ever tried on Redmi Note 7. This one is actually not for anyone. You should not try this ROM. It feels sluggish, like the animations and everything feel sluggish. In terms of gaming also, the worst performance ever I got from any ROM in terms of gaming. So if you are a gamer, don't try this ROM. And this is a better ROM, so you can't really expect much. But anyway, we are getting few other ROMs from different developers. That's good that they are still working on custom ROMs. And that's all about Seadroid ROM for Redmi Note 7. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.